good morning. Myself, Dr. R. Rajalakshmi, Associate Professor in Chemistry. In this session, we are going to discuss about Organic Reaction Mechanism Unit 3. Organic Reaction Mechanism. A reaction mechanism that can be understood in terms of two factors. One is electronic distribution and stability of the reacting molecules. That can also be called as reacting species. Another major factor that playing a major role in the reaction mechanism is the geometry of the molecule. That in terms uh, uh, depends on the steric effect and the stereochemistry of the molecules. Uh, general terms of reaction are uh, what is a uh, reaction? What is a reaction? Uh, normally in organic chemistry, organic reaction that is considered as uh, the combination of two or more reacting species to give you a new product just by breaking off your older bond and the formation of the new brown. In most of the cases, uh, solvents are important uh, for the, any thermal reaction, solvent and catalyst are all the uh, main ingredients that are required for a reaction to occur. Uh, reactions that can be classified into four categories. Number one, addition. Addition that can be defined as uh, introduction of two groups or atoms across or adjust, uh, into the adjacent carbon atom just by breaking a, a pi bond so that the formation of a new a saturated system most often if you have started with a doubly bonded system the product will be a saturated system. If the starting material is a triply bonded system then the final product is found to be a doubly bonded system. The next major category of organic reaction that is elimination. Uh, that uh, contrast to addition reaction uh, in case of elimination, the two groups or atoms are removed from the adjacent carbon atom so that a new pi bond is formed. Most often a doubly bonded or triply bonded system will be obtained. The third one is a substitution. In this case, uh, uh, for example, here what is given is a CX bond that is going to be cleaved off. So, a new CY bond is formed. So, substitution means a removal of a group instead of that group, a newer group or atom is introduced into that. So, that a new compound with a new functional group will be produced. The fourth major category that is called rearrangement. In that, the example given here, ABX, the final product is found to be again ABX, that means the starting material and the final product are found to have the same number of uh, atoms and groups, that means the molecular formula is found to be one and the same in both the cases. So, in this case, uh, that uh, X group which is attached to that uh, B, that get detached itself from the B atom and migrates to that next atom so that a new compound ABX again it is produced that group X is called as migrating group and that uh, B is called as the migrating origin where it attaches itself that is called migration termini. So migration of an atom or group from one atom to another atom within the molecule or uh, that may also occur intermolecularly. So the type of reactions are called as rearrangement reactions. These are all the four major categories of reactions. All other reactions, polymerization, uh, condensation reactions, oxidation, all those comes under only these four categories. Uh, in this session, we are going to discuss about addition and elimination reactions. Now, let's see addition to carbon-carbon multiple bond. The reaction in which uh, two atoms or groups introduced by breaking that double bond so that if you are getting a saturated system or a double E bonded system, then that type of compounds are called as uh, addition product. There are basically four ways in which addition to a double or triple bond can take place. Three of these two step process with initial attack by a nucleophile, that means an electron rich species an electrophile that means electron deficient species are a free radical. The second step in all those cases is consists of the combination of the resulting intermediate with respectively a positive species, a negative species 
or a radical or a neutral entity. In the fourth type of mechanism, attack of or attack at the two carbon atoms of the double or triple bond is simultaneous. That means they follow a concerted mechanism. That means the both bond breaking as well as bond formation that occur simultaneously. The type of mechanism comes under pericyclic addition reaction. Among these four categories, uh, which of these four mechanism is operating in any given case is determined by the uh, nature of the substrate, the target and the reaction condition. Number one, electrophilic addition. In the step one, the doubly bonded system, that electrophile actually in this mechanism an electron deficient species that is the electrophile most often your positive species in some of the cases that may be a dipole the positive end of a dipole may be the electrophile or even a neutral species can also access a electrophile that approaches the double or triple bond and in the first step it forms a carbocation that is the intermediate here this is the intermediate one having a single bond. In the second step that intermediate that combine with that counter ion usually if YW is the attacking other reagent is going to attack are uh, going to be introduced into the double bond means uh, since this is the electrophilic addition the positive part that attacks in the first step and that is found to be the redetermining step. So the second step is always the first and recombination step. So the final product is a saturated system. So in the previous slide we have seen that the intermediate is a singly bonded system. The intermediate one as shown in this figure. But uh, if the attacking species is a electra, is a dipole instead of a positively charged species like uh, bromine. In that case, uh, uh, bromine is having some lone pair of electron. So after the attack by the bromine atom and the carbon, then using that lone pair of electron, it can make a cyclic intermediate like this intermediate two. So anyhow, whether that uh, intermediate is a uh, like our one number one. Or it is true, whatever it may be, that is comes under electrophilic substitution reaction. That intermediate 2 is called as cyclic bromonium ion intermediate. That mechanism is called as ADE2 mechanism, electrophilic addition by molecular. Evidence for this mechanism. The most useful information we should get while investigating the mechanism of addition to a double, uh, double bond is stereochemistry of the reaction is always. The two carbon of the double bond and the four atoms immediately attached to the system that should be lie in a single plane. Now the groups Y and W that may enter from the double bond either from the same side of the plane or from the opposite direction. If they are approaching from the same side of the plane like what is given here in this, uh, in this structure 3 the Y and W are approaching on the same side of the double bond. So this addition is called as syn addition. In the second case also Y and W are approaching uh, from the same side of the double bond. So this also syn addition. But if the addition is syn, uh, in case of this system is found to be cis, the cis compound, both, the, both of them are found to be cis only, the addition is syn addition. Here there are two possibilities, the Y can attack both the carbon atom with the equal possibilities. For example, in this case Y approaches this carbon atom, in the second case Y approaches the second carbon atom. So that we could get always a erythro DL pair. So cis compound and syn addition will give you erythro DL pair. On the other hand, if the addition is anti, that means if Y and W are approaching the double bond in an opposite direction to each other, 
Uh, there are equal possibility again that why can attack uh, the each carbon atom uh, with a 50 percent of chances okay so that the three o dl pair will be obtained the cis isomer on anti addition will give three o dl pair but a trans isomer and anti addition will give the opposite product the next one is a nucleophilic addition uh, similar to electrophilic uh, addition, nucleophilic addition also occurs in two states. The first step is always attacked by the nucleophile, that means the electron rich species is going to attack uh, that uh, carbon atom which is uh, in bonding with that uh, pi electron. So that it forms a carbanion type of intermediate, the carbanion that will be attacked by the counter ion and the next strip uh, that is found to be the fast strip or recombination strip so that the final product is an addition product. So here uh, that uh, attacking species is found to be a nucleophile so that uh, that reaction is called as a nucleophilic addition. Uh, whatever it may be the two groups are going to be introduced across the double bond but based on uh, which group is going to attack in the slow and rate determining strip based on that. Uh, that addition is classified as whether it is a electrophilic addition or nucleophilic addition. But uh, since the substrates uh, is a multiply bonded system that actually a uh, electron rich system. So probably this type of substrates favors only electrophilic additions. For a nucleophilic addition to occur in this type of substrates that means the doubly or triply bonded system the substrate should always be activated by an electron withdrawing groups like carbonyl nitro or cyano groups. So in this example given here uh, the double bond is in conjugation with the carbonyl groups. Suppose if the compounds are like this that means substrates which are all activated by an electron withdrawing groups that nucleophile y minus if it approaches the carbon number 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4. If it approaches carbon number 1 that it attaches itself with the carbon atom 1 by means of resonance that intermediate which is formed the, uh, can stabilize by themselves. So two intermediates are obtained here 1 and 2. That counter ion, the H plus, can attack uh, either and the intermediate one or and the two. That step is always the protonation. Okay, so protonation can take place on the oxygen atom or on the uh, carbon atom. But protonation and the oxygen is more favorable that we know all, right? So that if that if protonation occurs on the oxygen atom, what will happen? The addition is not one to addition. Actually, the addition is found to be. 1 4 addition, uh, this product is found to be a enol. Here there is a double bond uh, that is in connection with the hydroxy group. So that the product which is formed is an enol that undergoes tautomerization to give you the final product that is 1 2 addition product. The product which is obtained is a 1 2 addition product. But actually the process is only pure 1,4 addition. So these type of reactions are called as Michael addition. 1,4 addition actual process but the product is found to be 1,2 addition product. Addition to conjugated system is also similar to uh, Michael addition. So in this case also the Y and W can be introduced in the adjacent carbon atom or uh, by means of resonance to types of carbon ion you may get. So the W plus can attack on the carbon atom 2 or on the carbon atom 4. Uh, most often that will be introduced on the fourth position as that uh, inter carbon uh, after the attack by that W on the second carbon atom you will be end up with only a negative charge on the fourth carbon atom uh, that what uh, somewhat less stable. So that uh, always the product is found to be 1,4 addition in case of conjugate system. In case of conjugated system uh, cyclic uh, uh, addition also possible that means why a cyclic six member cyclic transition state that W and Y can be introduced across the double bond but always the final product is found to be one for addition product. And next we will discuss about eliminations. 
as we discussed in the first slide elimination means uh, removal of two groups or atom from the adjacent carbon atom uh, that type of uh, eliminations are called as most often uh, beta elimination uh, this is because the two atoms and groups are removed from the adjacent that means alpha and beta carbon atoms so that elimination more precisely called as beta eliminations or oh, most of the eliminations are found to be beta elimination another category see in this case uh, in the atom b both uh, leaving groups are found to be present w and x so if w and x are removed from the same atom that means from the alpha carbon atom only then the product is always found to be a electron deficient species like a carbene or nitrine these eliminations are called as alpha elimination these eliminations are less favorable that type of elimination always leads to an intermediate so beta elimination reactions uh, gamma elimination are also possible that will give you a cyclic product beta elimination reactions that may occur either following a bimolecular mechanism or a unimolecular mechanism bimolecular eliminations that is called as e2 elimination in the e2 mechanism the two groups both h and x the two depart simultaneously that means in a single step the two groups h and x are removed by the removal of x as x minus followed by the removal of the hydrogen that means the proton that being pulled off by the base e2 elimination always requires a base so this occurs in a single step process so that step is found to be the ready remaining step also since both the species are involved in the ready remaining step both the base as well as the substrate are involved in the ready remaining step the molecularity of the reaction is found to be two so that's why this reaction is called as uh, bimolecular elimination reactions the final product is always uh, an unsaturated system like this thus the uh, cell elimination reaction takes place in one step and kinetically it is second order because the rate of the reaction depends on the concentration of both the substrate as well as uh, the base uh, that is always required for a bimolecular mechanism this mechanism is analogous to sn2 mechanism substitution a nucleophilic bimolecular mechanism that often competes with it evidences for e2 mechanism that we know this reaction displays a proper second order kinetics uh, since the tackles in a single step and also this uh, play uh, this source uh, a very good isokinetic effect uh, having a kh by kd value more than 1 that amounts to 3 to 8 for by molecular mechanism and the most compelling evidence for this type of mechanism that may be arrived from a stereo electronic factor that means stereo chemistry of the reactions in case of e2 elimination uh, that requires the five atoms that means uh, the four atoms uh, immediately attached to them including that base that should lie in a single plane so there are two ways for this to happen the hydrogen and the x may be trans to one another with a dihedral angle of 180 degree and this conformation is called as anti periplanar arrangement the way is that the h and x may be cis with a dihedral angle of 0 degree and this arrangement is called as anti sorry sin periplanar arrangement Uh, based on that uh, arrangement that eliminations can be classified into again sin and anti eliminations uh, in case of system processing anti periplanar arrangement that means h and the x the two are found to be present in 180 degree away from each other that means the staggered conformation in that uh, the h and the x that depart in an anti position they are found to be present in at uh, the anti the anti position so they depart each other in an anti fashion so that the arrangement at the elimination is called as anti elimination in the second case b that h and x are found to be present in a sin fashion sin periplanar arrangement the two are departing each other in the same direction that is called sin elimination 
in the previous case a they are departing each other in the opposite direction that is anti elimination in case of b that elimination is called as syn elimination a is staggered conformation and the molecule requires less energy to reach the transition state than it does to reach the eclipsed transition state as shown in the b so e2 elimination is exclusively or predominantly are found to be anti elimination a best example for syn and anti elimination uh, most often the t2 eliminations that require anti periplanar arrangement so most of the eliminations are found to be anti elimination uh, elimination of hbr from meso 1 to dibromo 1 to diphenyl ethane that gives cis to brom uh, strilfin uh, that means a cis product where the dl pair dl pair these two that gives the trans strilfin stereo specifically there are both the possibility the dl pair can capable of giving both the trans isomer and the cis isomer but the tri dl pair that always gives on anti elimination the trans isomer as the exclusive product that means the stereo specifically that gives trans isomer and that uh, meso isomer stereo specifically that gives only cis isomer so the stereo specificity associated with the uh, to elimination that uh, proves that the elimination is anti elimination another example for e2 elimination that requiring anti periplanar arrangement uh, here methyl and neomethyl chlorides are given methyl chloride can capable of existing in two conformation one is uh, all axial form another case al equatorial form so in this case that chlorine atom that is the leaving group chlorine and h that are all the departing group that has to be removed for this chlorine there is only one axial hydrogen as this requires only anti periplanar arrangement this hydrogen is found to be the only group which is found to be opposite to this chlorine atom so there is only one type of elimination is possible so h and cl after that elimination the product is found to be 100% that means predominantly that methane is called as two uh, two methane that is hoffman product the product which is obtained is the least stable hoffman product at that uh, equatorial isomer in this case uh, that chlorine that is in the actual equatorial position for this equatorial chlorine atom there should be one equatorial hydrogen that that is that group in the opposite direction if these two are removed again the product which is obtained is the hoffman product 100% hoffman only that means uh, hoffman product means the duly formed double bond will goes to the carbon which is less substituted but in case of no methyl chloride the leaving group chlorine atom that has two probabilities for this chlorine there is one axial hydrogen atom in the po fourth position if this is removed the product will be the zeds of product that means this one this product 2 is the zeds of product product 1 is the hoffman product 75% or major product is found to be the zeds of product another possibility for this chlorine there is one more hydrogen atom available in the opposite direction so the elimination can also be happen in this way if this elimination occurs means the product is found to be a two methane so in this case only 25% are the minor product is found to be hoffman product so zeds of product is always the most stable product that means the double bond newly formed a double bond that goes to that carbon which is more substituted that is a stable product if there is a possibility to get the most stable product means only in this direction the elimination will occur but in the previous case the anti periplanar arrangement that is the requirement for it to elimination so that the product is found to be the hoffman product 
but for the second case both the possibilities are there so the double bond that goes to the less uh, both substituted carbon atom so that the major product is found to be the zo product the next important rule uh, regarding elimination in that there were three uh, two different compounds one and two for the compound one there are two hydrogen atoms on both the positions now there are two possibilities for the bromine atom it can be removed either with this hydrogen atom or this hydrogen atom can be eliminated any one of these two can be eliminated if this hydrogen one that means in the second carbon atom if that is removed the product will be three and another possibility this hydrogen can also be removed if this hydrogen is removed the product is found to be four but actually what is the product obtained is always three there is no product like four and then in case of compound two there is no reaction this is because the newly formed double bond never goes to the bridget carbon that is the reason why product four is not formed even if the bromine atoms have to be present on that bridget carbon the adjacent hydrogen that means that elimination on that carbon atom is not possible so type four that means product type four cannot be obtained this what governed by brad so that what known as brad's rule next even elimination elimination following unimolecular mechanism even mechanism uh, is a two step process in which the rate determining step is ionization of the substrate to give the carbocation that loses a proton to a base rapidly so the first step is the rate determining step so the carbocation which is formed in the first step that loses a proton and the second that means the first step to give the final product so the mechanism normally operates without any added base uh, like our e2 mechanism uh, also like e2 mechanism this e1 mechanism also competes with sn1 mechanism in a pure even mechanism the product would be completely non stereo specific uh, this is because there is only a single bond between these two carbon atom so there is a chance for this two carbon to undergo a rotation so the product should not have any specificity so evidence for stereochemistry of this reaction is found to be non stereo specific evidences for even mechanism we know that the first step that is the rate determining step and that only one species is involved so rate of the reaction purely depends on the concentration of the substrate only so the mechanism that exhibit first order kinetics many reactions carried out under first order conditions often involves a removal of cis hydrogen that means that elimination is found to be always sin elimination so like that e2 mechanism in preference to the removal of trans hydrogen for example methyl chloride under e1 condition gives 68% of zo product that Uh, that is the exclusive product or predominant product if carbocation are intermediate we should expect rearrangement uh, th that is often possible for the carbocation to undergo rearrangement with a suitable substrate for example if it is a propyl cation that may undergo a rearrangement to give you a secondary propyl cation isopropyl cation so uh, this have often been found elimination reactions performed and uh, even conditions if the even mechanism is performed on two substrates that differ only in their leaving group means the ratio definitely will differ this is because they depend on the uh, ionizing ability of the molecule may differ that's why the next important mechanism even cb mechanism it case of uh, even mechanism x leaves first that what we have seen in the previous step that here x leaves first followed by the hydrogen that means proton removal but in case of 
E2 mechanism, both X and H that departs, the both the living groups depart simultaneously in bimolecular mechanism. But there is a third possibility in which hydrogen that means the proton removal that takes place in the first step and then a departure of the actual living group X. This is a two-step process that involves a carbanion intermediate uh, known as uh, carbanion mechanism. Most often this mechanism is called as carbanion mechanism because the intermediate is found to be a carbanion. In the step one, the proton is removed first so that a carbanion intermediate is formed. In the second step, that is the fast step. Most often the second step is the fast step. And after the removal of the leaving group, the unsaturated system is produced. A human CB mechanism, the CB means conjugate base. If you are considering the substrate as an acid, because a removal of proton is possible only if the substrate is found to be more acidic. So in that case, only carbanion is found to be the intermediate. So after the removal of that proton, the intermediate is called as the conjugate base of that acid. So that the mechanism is called as conjugate base mechanism. Since it is following a unimolecular mechanism, this is called as UNCB mechanism. For this mechanism, there are three distinguishable limiting cases. Number one, the carbanion returns to the starting material faster than it forms the product as the step one is reversible. Step two is slow and rate remaining step. Number two, step one is the slow step and formation of the product is faster than retaining of the carbanion to the static material. In this case, step one is essentially irreversible. Another case, step two is rapid and carbanion goes slowly into the product. This is possible only if the substrate is attached to the electron drawing groups like uh, NO2, dimethyl sulfide, cyano group, uh, ester. Belonging to the category of substrates contain amide hydrogen and poor leaving group. Thank you.